This video is presented by EA Game Changers. Thank you EA for providing us with early access. Hey guys, it's Stephanie with SimRiki and welcome to a speed build from Sims 4 Get Famous. It is a Lost at Sea Sunken Pirate movie set speed build. Now I am so excited about this because I love the ocean, I love the beach, and I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to take all of the new items and the terrain tools and try to create something fun. Now, I, okay, I actually didn't use that many items from Get Famous. I did use the Sunken Pirate Ship, which you will see. And I did use a lot of like the movie prop, like not props, the film, the film stuff, like the lighting, the light boxes, the cameras, the mixing studio, all of that fun stuff. So I made it look like it was a movie set, but it's sort of like on location. So it's not technically a set. I don't know. I know nothing about making movies, so I'm probably making no sense right now. So yes, <laughs> just, just ignore that part if that made zero sense. But hello, if you guys are new here, I should take a second to introduce myself. My name is Stephanie, aka Simmerky. I'm a self-proclaimed mermaid. I am obsessed with the Sims. I also love rainbows, unicorns, seahorses, kittens, and the beach. <laughs> I'm a beach girl. So I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to use this amazing pirate ship they gave us. Now it comes in a few different pieces, which you'll see in just a bit. And I couldn't quite figure out exactly how to put it together. So it actually turned out perfect because I wanted it to look sunken anyways. So by having it as two separate pieces, it looks like part of it is buried under the water, like under the, under the sand, under the ocean. So actually turned out perfect. Now, the only thing I had trouble with was trying to put a flooring down here because everything's at a diagonal, so I just couldn't get it right. Um, so instead, I'm going to go into buy debug and find a bunch of dirt piles. Now, I do want to say I did use a lot of stuff from the Jungle Adventure Pack with this as well, but the amazing thing about Get Famous is that there are so many new items. It is insane, and it's so easy to just take one item and draw huge inspiration. Like, literally, this pirate ship was the inspiration for this entire build. I just think it's so cute and so fun and you don't really get to see it, but there is a tiny little seahorsey there at the bottom, just hanging out, riding at the front of the ship, which I think is cool because I'm obsessed with seahorses. Um, and uh, I did decided to make, decided, ooh, that's a word, that's not a word. Uh, I decided to make a little waterfall here Again, just using like a lot of the plants from Jungle Adventure and the Lotus, it just, I thought, went perfectly with this specific item from the pack. But that's the good thing about it because it literally goes with almost all the packs. You could probably find any item and get famous and pair it perfectly with something from another pack. For example, let's just randomly pick toddler stuff. So get famous if you want a whole build by review. I'll have that linked in the description. If I forget, let me know in the comments. Uh, it has these little, well, gigantic Void Gritter movie pieces for the movie sets. So there you go. You can mix that with toddler stuff and create something cute. Now the furniture itself goes really well with vintage glamour and the vampire stuff, but you, you don't see a lot of that here. Here you're mainly going to see the cameras, which I literally put in at the end because <laughs> I was so, so focused on the landscaping, which I love to do. I used to hate landscaping. It was my like least favorite part about building. I didn't even think about doing it. I never cared about doing it. It just evaded my mind. There was no way I even cared about landscaping when I first started building. But now it's one of my favorite things. And besides landscaping, I love building houses and really focusing on the outside and what the outside look like looks like when I used to be super, super focused on the inside. So something like this I thought was super fun to just kind of showcase my, my favorite things, my favorite outdoor items and build a waterfall, which I love doing. Um, now these are rock tables from Outdoor Retreat but they size up perfectly to create your own custom fountains and grottos. Now, speaking of grotto, I was going to do a mermaid grotto, but that felt like a super big project for a mermaid like me. I want it to be perfect. I want it to be special. I want to take my time. In fact, I might build it live on Twitch. So if you're not following me on Twitch, make sure to click on the link in the description to find me over there as well. Um, but yeah, I want, I definitely sort of went into this thinking I wanted to do a mermaid grotto and then just got completely sidetracked and made a sunken pirate movie set instead. But 
that's what happens, right? <laughs> when you get the inspiration, just go with it. I never feel like you should force yourself to do anything in this game, especially when it comes to building. I always want to be super inspired. And the crazy thing is I've literally been playing this game for three years, almost every single day. I know that's not a long time to some of you that have been playing your entire lives, but for me, playing a game almost every single day for three years in a row is crazy. Like I never do that. The only time I've ever done that was with Animal Crossing, which I have my 3DS here. <laughs> I haven't played in a long time, but I actually have it out because we've been recreating Animal Crossing in um, in The Sims. So yeah, that's my other favorite favorite game. But Sims is by far taken over my life and has bumped Animal Crossing aside. <laughs> And oh my gosh. Okay, so right now I'm going to buy a bug. I don't know what I was trying to say. I was basically saying this game's amazing. The building. Oh, the building. I haven't got sick of building in three years. I don't know. I will. I don't think I'll ever get sick of it. Some days I sit there and bust out like five builds in one day. And I think I might have a problem. I think I might have a problem. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so right now I've gone into buy debug. If you don't know what buy debug is, it is a secret menu that the developers basically use to create the game and to create gameplay. And you can unlock it by typing in bb.showhiddenobjects, all one word in your cheats menu. If you're not sure how to do that, I actually have that linked in the description because I have an entire playlist of tutorials for The Sims 4 and how to build. One is for beginners and one is for advanced players. So you can definitely check those out and learn about by debug or anything else that your heart desires. And as always, if you have a request for a tutorial, let me know in the comments. Um, but yeah, what I was saying is that this pack just it goes with everything. Literally every pack that we have can be incorporated somehow. And I definitely highly relied on Jungle Adventure. I think a bit of Outdoor Retreat and a bit of Cats and Dogs because those crates I thought would look perfect like in the movie set the um the pirate ship maybe they were able to salvage some of the things and that would explain where the metal cop came from because where else would that come from in the middle of the jungle <laughs> uh, I have no idea I don't think you could make that you could probably make a wooden bed but there you go we'll pretend that came out of the crates from the pirate ship and there there's another part of the pirate ship it's crazy you have the giant mass separately as well and the little the little ship wheel captain's wheel i don't know i had a lot of fun with this what would you guys do if you were marooned on an island do you think you'd be able to build yourself a little hut like this and survive oh, that would make such a good movie i mean there's a ton of movies like that already what's one of them cast away is that a movie is that one with the ball wilson i don't know um <laughs> but oh 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 i was gonna say here's the part where i started putting down the cameras and i also used that amazing little grotto piece from get famous it looks like a mermaid grotto already and i keep forgetting to play with the interactions we're gonna have to test that out during our let's play that we're creating it is called star stalker it's gonna be on twitch it is based around get famous it's a bit morbid but uh there are sharks in there i don't Mm, I don't think this is new death, but we can pretend. We can pretend that we're killing Sims with sharks. That got really morbid. Let me explain. We have a new series coming to Twitch called Star Twitch called Star Star Stalker. That is a tongue twister. And our star, our wannabe star, is trying to get famous and murder celebrities. There's a whole backstory. It's a whole backstory. Trust me, they'll still be family friendly. <laughs> It's just a bit of cartoon, a cartoon violence. It's not that bad. Um, <laughs> we don't use any like crazy mods or anything. We just do what's given to us in the game. But if, it, if that's a bit much for you, you might not want to watch that. Uh, but if that is right up your alley, you can actually submit your sim to the gallery with hashtag SimmerKeyStalkMe for a chance to get your celebrity sim featured in the new series where, again, we will be... Um, stalking and murdering celebrities and stealing their precious belongings so that my character Paris can build her own celebrity mansion because she's she doesn't want to work she just wants to she just wants to steal and get things easily <laughs> oh my god I can't believe we're in the screenshots already I don't know what happened I don't know what I just said I never know what I just said anyways enjoy our pirate sunken ship 
beach, lost at sea, movie set with fountain. I hope you like this. Just a fun little build. I'm gonna totally do a bunch of more movie sets, so let me know in the comments below what you want to see. And thank you again, EA, for providing me with early access so that we can make this awesome video together. I hope you like it. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next video, and I will see you guys next time. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Mwah. Bye! Love that pirate ship. Look at that. Look how cool that looks. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. I'm going to pat myself on the back. I like this one. All right. Bye. Wait, guys, before you go anywhere, don't forget to click over here to watch new videos and click on my face when I disappear to subscribe.